evening. We'll call our uh, meeting to, to order. Uh, welcome to Irmo High School. We appreciate uh, you being here. Dr. Hardy, I know, is uh, floating around here. I've seen her earlier. Dr. Hardy, thank you to you and your staff uh, for hosting us tonight. Thank you to our nutritional staff uh, who provided the meal for the board. And we appreciate always our executive staff and communications department that always work so hard to get uh, the room set up and ready to go. You'll notice we're using some of the devices that are being used throughout the district uh, to uh, promote and enhance uh, social distancing. So we appreciate our facility staff for uh, providing the dividers and some of your students will see those uh, in the classroom uh, as well. You're welcome if you would like uh, to join me in prayer. God, Creator, Father, Jehovah, Yahweh, the Great I Am, regardless of the name that we may assign you, it is my prayer that you would give us the ears to hear the cries of those that are oppressed and downtrodden. I pray that you would give us the eyes to see the need around us, that you'd give us hearts filled with compassion so that we would be moved to action. I pray that you would give us the courage to stand in the face of adversity and realize that we stand not on our own strength, but in the strength of our Creator. Father, I especially remember our friends and colleagues in Richland District 2 that have suffered the loss of a teacher and a coach uh, to COVID-19. We pray uh, for that district and for the leaders of that district and for those families that have been impacted. We pray for our community, for all those that have been impacted uh, by the coronavirus and it has touched literally every facet of our life. And I pray uh, for our families as they, uh, we, we adjust to what has become the new normal. We especially thankful for our teachers and our faculty and staff that have been so flexible and creative uh, during this time. God, I pray for your wisdom and your guidance, and may our decisions always be driven with our students first and with what's best for those individual students. And it's in your name I pray, amen. I invite you to stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance.